What is up everyone? Welcome to another video. Hopefully you're all doing great. I certainly am. Today is my birthday, my 27th birthday. So I'm out here enjoying the sun. So in this video, I want to talk about five filmmaking tools that I use or that I want to be using in 2023. The first tool that I want to talk about is called Cine Tracer, and I still haven't really got around to uh, use it too much because it takes there's a bit of a learning curve there. But Cine Tracer is essentially a filmmaking simulator which runs on Unreal Engine, which is pretty crazy. So basically you can build sets over there with like actual real lighting. It's gonna simulate that light in a very realistic way. And in there, there's all of the tools that people use on set. There's all the lights, all the different fixtures, different cameras, uh, different uh, camera movement system, like dollies, tripod, whatever. There's just everything in there. And the way that I'm gonna be using this program this year is going to be mainly for creating storyboards, I think. I am not someone who's good at drawing in any kind of way, so that's why Cine Tracer is great. Um, like I said, it's a simulator. You just build out whatever like, kind of set that you wanna build. You can choose the lenses, you can choose the camera, you can choose where the light is coming from. Um, so it's a really, really great tool for creating storyboards. It does come in in a bit of a high price, but it's worth it for what you're getting. So yeah, that's Cine Tracer. So the next one is more of an obvious one, but it's always worth mentioning, and that is Sunseeker. Sunseeker is an app that lets you know where the sun would be at a particular place, at a particular hour. So that is obviously very useful, like in the pre-production stages, when you're location scouting, you need to know where that light is going to be at each hour of the day so you can plan when is the best time to be at that location. So maybe you see a very, very nice place, which like you think is the perfect place for your music video, for your commercial, but then you pull up Sunseeker and you find out that the light is coming like from the side uh, where the windows are, only at sunrise, for example and maybe you can't be there at sunrise because of different production um, needs. You know, you can't always be where you want to be in the perfect time. Um, you always need to know where the sun is going to be at which time of day. So sun is definitely a must and it's not expensive also. So if you for some reason don't know about sun yet, definitely go and get it like right now because it's going to save your so next up we have Truck Lab, which are the sponsors of this video. So thank you Truck Lab for making this happen. So Truck Lab is a music licensing platform and I'm sure by this point you all know that you can't use any song that you want in your videos because it's going to be copyrighted. So if you make a YouTube video, if you make a commercial for a client, if you make basically anything, you're going to need to use a music licensing platform like Track Club. So Track Club is a new platform and it has a few really strong benefits. First one being the Mix Lab feature, which basically lets you mix any song with the different stems so you can solo or mute all of the different elements that go into the song. You can take full creative control and decide if you want that in your song or not. And you can also play with the volume. You can change the BPM. And that is a really, really helpful feature because a lot of the times I'll find a song that I really like, but there's just like something in it that I don't like. Having this feature, being able to mute things, solo things, change the volumes, um, all in the app. So I don't actually have to take that like into Premiere. So you can just do it over there on the platform like right there and download your mix. So that's a really, really good feature and I've been using it quite a bit lately. Also, Track Lab is fairly curated, so there's really good and high quality songs. It's not just a huge catalog where you have to scroll through for an hour just to find like one good song. I really like the playlist as well. There's also an automatic track clearance ID system where you can basically put in the URL for your YouTube channel or your Vimeo, just clears your videos automatically. So that's always good to know. You're not gonna run into any kind of copyright problems, especially if it's a video for a client, you don't want that happening. So having that kind of system is really reassuring. So if you want to start using Track Club today, there's a link in the description that will give you one month totally free. So you can try it out, check it out for yourselves. And thank you again Track Club for sponsoring the video.
Next up is Shotdeck. Shotdeck is a platform where you have stills and like photos from movies and you can filter them by the type of shot, if it's a close-up or a wide, if it's shot on a low aperture or it has a more deep focus. Um, there's like tons of different categories and ways to filter search results. And obviously there's also just a free, like free word kind of search bar. So there's two ways that I'm using shot back. One of which is when I, I, I can kind of imagine the shot I want to get, but I'm not really sure like exactly the angle I want and I need some help with visualizing that. So Shotdeck is really good for that. And the other way I'm using this platform is just for pure inspiration. So that's times where I really don't know where I'm going. I'm trying to build a concept. I'm trying to understand uh, what I want to do. So sometimes I'll just scroll through the popular um, categories and then I can just find inspiration and kind of draw out some different shots that I like. So Shotdeck is really great for that as well. Next up we have Cadrage, which is the director's viewfinder app on your phone. And with Cadrage, you can choose the camera and the lens that you're going to be shooting on, or you think you're going to be shooting on, and just have that on your phone. So you get the same perspective and that's really helpful when you're location scouting and trying to find your composition, trying to find your angles. Sometimes I'll just use my regular iPhone camera like without the app because I'm lazy, but really it's better when you use Catarage because then you can really visualize and understand, uh, you know, like if I use that focal length with this camera, it's gonna, like this is how the perspective is going to look like. And when you're working also on a bigger team, and you're using all of these photos, putting them in a treatment. You want people to really be able to visualize uh, the things you want as close as possible. So having the most accurate perspective on how the thing actually looks like is going to be helpful for you and helpful for your team. So use Catarage. And next up, I'm definitely plugging myself. Century 8 is a company that I've started with two of my best friends. Basically, almost everything that you see on this channel is made by the three of us. And we created some film assets, film emulation power grades, film presets if you're shooting photos, film burns, grain, all that good stuff. We use it for client projects like commercials music videos, passion projects. So uh, these are assets that, again, we made ourselves. We're really proud of and we actually use them. So I'm sure you guys will find them helpful. So there's going to be a link down in the description for that uh, with also a discount code. So if you really want to elevate your videos and get that film look and support this channel, then uh, check it out. So anyways, thank you for watching this video. Hopefully it can help some of you guys to become better filmmakers content creators, videographers, whatever you want to call yourself. If you want to see more of these videos, make sure you subscribe and hit that like button if you want to help me out. And there's also the Instagram, it's at Yuval896. If you want to see more of what I'm doing daily, like stories behind the scenes, uh, maybe send me a DM so we can talk a bit, then check out the Instagram. Again, it's at Yuval896. But that's all for this video. I really enjoyed being outside and making this video here. It's more casual, it's more fun, it's more me. So we'll see, maybe I'll make more of these. So thank you again for watching and hopefully I'm gonna see all of you in the next one.